what do we need to do when we learn something new? Drop and hit. The best way to break a bad habit is to, in this case, learn the good one. So that's what we'll do with drop and hit. But if you really want to focus on it, you can do the technique with this as well. Remember that, you, you stand in position, you put your right foot on the table, arm goes like this, and boom, drop it out. I'm trying to practice this type of movement. Come out, do the forehand version. Now you do the angle and push it forward. Just maybe practice it if you need to practice it. But again, most people don't need to because there's not that much power needed. It's not like a, you really need to you know, do excess amount of work to do this technique. The drop and hit, the drop and hit is one of my favorite things. Where am I gonna put the basket? No, let's put the basket back there. This is a, let's put the basket back there because we're gonna try to do both things at the same time. I want you to really focus on me. There's no camera for my feet, because right now we're gonna focus on getting that angle correct. So, baby steps. Start off without moving at all. Just start from here and pulling it like that. Like a serve, like a serve. Exactly, you can drop it or you can do it from the hand. Same for the forehand. Nice re-angle, just slice it and just slice it under. It'll feel a lot more uncomfortable for the back, uh, for the forehand, but try and do your best. Boom. But again, as you can see, without the extension of the arm, you will never be able to hit the, hit the chop. But remember, try not to chop the ball when it's long like this. Try to attack it. Chop is a defensive move, so if you're not ready for the ball and it comes to this length, do chop. But don't be, it's your number one goal. And without extension of the arm, as you can see, even I miss. So that's the baby step. Then the second one is putting your right foot your dominant foot, sorry, under the table, wherever you are. So we'll start with a backhand chop, a few, rolling the ball, place, woo, bounce lost. Place it on the forehand, and forehand chop. Wind it up, and pull it forward. Wind it up, and pull it forward. Backhand chop, wind it up, and pull it forward. And it is easy, you'll see yourself, it is very easy to learn to do this. Realistically, it's a bit hard timing the ball. That's why a good game to improve your level is to hit the ball and make the ball bounce twice. One, two. One, two. When you master that, aim for direction. I'm gonna go in the middle, two bounces. One, no, again. One, two, better. Forehand, down the line. One, ah, no, didn't work, again. Better. Let's go down to the corner. One, two. Opposite corner for a forehand. One, two. Oh, that was more middle. When you get better at it, try to time it with, with the footwork, okay? So I'm gonna make the ball bounce. I'm gonna put the right foot under the table and chop it in a realistic matter. Ready, position, drop, foot under, and chop. Drop, foot under, and chop. Doesn't have to be deep at all, just so you can practice all three matters. Drop ball, foot, arm, and pull out. Just drop it. Okay, drop and hit. It is very, very useful. 